There's a whole spectrum of cleaning. There's the extreme deep clean, the marathon clean, that's on one end. And then on the other end, we've got the quick five minute cleans. That's where we're gonna be focusing today. Now those quick five minute cleans are not gonna tackle a super cluttered, super dirty, super messy space. I'm talking about an average space that just needs a good pickup. Now these cleans, these five minute cleans are really important for a few reasons. First of all, if you need a little bit of a mental break in the middle of your workday, assuming that you're working from home, this is a great formulated way that you can spend five minutes, move your body, stretch your legs, and actually accomplish something in a very structured manner. Second, if you're doing a lot of these little cleans, you will have to do the big cleans less frequently. So to me, that's a really big selling feature. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, and happy Black Friday, friends, it's here. I do wanna tell you that we are having a big sale over at makersclean.com. The entire store is marked down up to 50% off. So make sure that you go and check it out. Pretty much every year on Black Friday, we completely sell out of our inventory. So go and get what you want now. If you've been watching Clean My Space videos for a while now, or you've read our book, you'll know that we have something we like to call the three-wave system, which means that you take three passes around a room to clean, organize, and get rid of garbage. So when you're doing a big clean, you're gonna follow this three-wave system, but when you're doing a little quick five-minuter, you're gonna follow the three waves as well. And the way that you work a wave is you start at the same starting point, generally the door, and you work your way around the room, top to bottom, left to right, doing the task at hand. So wave number one, tidy and organize. You're essentially gonna work your way around the room and pull out anything that doesn't belong there, garbage, laundry, recyclables, old dishes, all that stuff is gonna come out. And again, you can see how quick this is because you're just working rapid fire. Second wave is to clean. So you're actually gonna do your dusting and your polishing and your disinfecting. But because this is a five minute clean, you're gonna do a really slimmed down version of that. In this case, I would suggest just doing spot cleaning or the bare minimum. So anything that is glaringly obvious for you when you step into the room, that's what you're gonna focus on. Moreover, this isn't the type of cleaning where I want you to have six different cleaning products and you know five cleaning tools in your arsenal. I really just want you to have a microfiber cloth and an all-purpose cleaner so that you can do the basics. And the final wave is garbage and floors, which means you're removing garbage or trash cans and it's up to you to decide if you're gonna do the floors and whether or not you wanna vacuum them, mop them, neither or both. Admittedly, it is very easy to get carried away when you're doing one of these five minute cleans and they can easily turn into a 15 or 25 minute clean. And I don't want you doing that. It's so important to stay on task. So while you're doing each wave, here are the things that I want you to focus on. In wave number one, don't worry so much about doing tidying or organizing as much as I want you to focus on getting rid of the garbage or anything that doesn't belong in there. Dirty dishes, cups, you know, books that belong in another room or laundry, all of that stuff can come out and inherently just doing that step, your room is gonna look a lot neater. For the second wave, of course, you can get overwhelmed by trying to decide what you should clean or polish or dust or disinfect, but I really want you to hone it in. This is the space where you're going to be looking for those areas that are glaringly obvious. They're shouting out, clean me. Those are the areas that you're gonna focus on during this particular cleaning. That's why I said, you know, just have a simple tool like a microfiber cloth and a product like an all-purpose cleaner. So when you go around your room during the second wave, you're gonna look for those things that are screaming at you and you're gonna tackle those. So for a bathroom example, you might see like a really dirty sink. Great, that's the thing you can clean. Same thing with the faucet, fine. But this isn't the opportunity for you to clean the toilet. Same thing in the front entryway. You know, if there's a mirror or a console table that's looking a little bit dusty or disheveled, that would be the thing that you would wanna clean, but this isn't the time to get into the corners and wipe the baseboards. So I just wanna be very clear in that distinction. Also for your bedroom, you know, things like making your bed or dusting a really dusty, dirty headboard, fine. But again, this isn't the time to reorganize your book stacks. Just keep that in mind. And now some tips to make this five minute endeavor efficient and five minutes. First of all, set a timer or play a five minute song or five minutes from a podcast that you like, whatever it is, give yourself that five minute limit. It is going to keep you on task. 
Second of all, make sure that you have your product and your tool with you. Notice how I didn't pluralize right before you head in. That way you're not sort of running around looking for it once you've started. Go in with intention and purpose and you'll be way, way, way ahead of the game. Next, you always wanna clean from top to bottom, left to right, and clean your way out of a room. Use that door to your advantage. You should always start and end at the door because you wanna clean your way out of a room, not into a corner. So when you're planning to particularly do the floors, you always wanna make sure that you start your floors at the opposite end of the exit point of the room. That way you will always finish on the out instead of tucked into a little corner that you have to then tiptoe out of. Well, that brings me to this week's comment question, which I'm gonna do in honor of Black Friday because we are here on Black Friday. So let me know in the comments down below what it is that you are planning to get on Black Friday. Are you planning to get, I don't know, some Makers Clean products because we're having that great sale? Are you planning to do a big purchase like a vacuum or a TV? Or is this the year where you're doing nothing? I'd be really curious to find out. So let me know what you're thinking down below. If you wanna see what we're up to during the rest of the week, you can follow along on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker. Chad is at the Chad Reynolds. We are all at Clean My Space and our microfiber products are at makers.clean. Now, here is a video explaining that three-wave system. So if you haven't seen a video like this before, you're not totally familiar with it, check this out. It's gonna teach you everything you need to know to nail your cleaning. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to the Clean My Space channel to begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.